So Stephen just said to me, he goes, hey, I got a car being dropped off. It's broken. I said, what is it? And he's like, it's a supercar. I was like, okay, is it yours? He's like, yeah. It needs, I, can, is it cool if I swap the battery on? It's got a dead battery. Yeah. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, another another supercar. Another supercar. How many supercars do you have? Two. You actually have more. Off camera, you have a, a bunch of cars we'll talk about. <laughs> but you mentioned there's a one that's like a race car, but you don't want to talk about it. Okay, it's an NSX. Is this an NSX? Is it the NSX? Let's find out. <laughs> I feel like I'm being pranked right now. I was in my office organizing a brand. I was like, hey, a little surprise. Is it here? Yeah. You don't see anything. I don't see anything. Tell him come on in. You guys. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I uh, I have a lot of questions right now. <laughs> I think it's sick. I think it's crazy. It looks fun. Dead battery? Dead battery. Is that it? That you know? That's all I know of, yeah. I think it, yeah. <laughs> dead battery. Control it for dead battery? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have to. It's a big deal in these cars, Chris. All right, guys, if you want to see the next surprise, it's about to come over my shoulder. <laughs> Steven, you're very interesting and you're sketchy. Here it is. The Aventador. Where does this come from? He has, also has the MP412C. Yeah. That somebody yeah. gave him. Gave him. Okay. It's nice. Yes. All right, we have a lot of questions for Steven, but in the meantime, let's unload this thing. Questions. Is it actually an S? It is. It is an S. Why do you seem... Oh, you're so... <laughs> he answers questions so sketchy. I wonder... How did you get this one? Finance. I don't believe him. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit right now, but let's find out the truth. Yeah. Uh, I want to get a thumbnail in front of the blocks. He needs to move this way more. Yeah. Someone has to go direct him. The driver is not a YouTuber. <laughs> oh, wait, Bentley's looking sick. She's dumped. You uh, have some parking tickets, it looks like. Yeah, oh. Holy, where was this park, Steven? There's like three tickets on there. One, two, 63 bucks. What's this thing there? 63 bucks. What's it say? The car's broken down. <laughs> I don't think that's excusable. Oh, the FBI's here already. Thanks, Steven. Uh, oh, it'll be IRS. That's alright. Not alright. What? What the hell? How's this happening right I now? I don't know. <laughs> that's all that I have. I don't believe you. That's it. How are they gonna get it off the trailer? It can't move. Dollies. Well, I guess you put it on with those skates. All right, let's get it off. You guys are as confused as I am right now. Why is the tow truck driver look sketchy? What's too? he doing? Why is he sketchy Why is too? He... Where's he going? All he just runs away, never comes back, <laughs> leaves his tow truck. That'd be cool. I don't know if that would be cool. What is, what's on this tow truck? So what's behind this car? You, is it yours? It's not mine. It's my uncle's. Your uncle? Yep. This thing is broached out. Broached out? Yeah, it is. He just lets it sit outside. Is that why it has parking tickets? Yep. Where did it die? I guess a few blocks from the street. A few blocks from the street? Or from his house. Do you always speak in riddles? Sorry, from his house. Oh. From his house. So the battery's dead, as far as we know. It's a nice car, like this is a freaking engine or ass. This is a real car, it's a roadster. So the nice big carbon brakes. Tires look good. There's uh, the tow hook. You told me it was rat bag, that's not too bad. What do you think, Chris? I like it. We're sitting outside. Any damage on this bad boy? It's like spotless. Really? This thing's filthy. Oh, uh, mine was worse. Yours was. You <laughs> had one? Oh, 
She's dead. You can't even get into it. But the window's not down. Uh, it'll break the glass. Yeah, I don't want to break the glass. So your uncle, import-export business? No. He owns a body shop. He owns a pawn shop? Yeah. Okay, so your uncle's a lone shark. Your Toyota yeah. driver has the shirt mostly off. Why is his shirt off? Yeah, why is his shirt unbuttoned? Right? That's it? Fair. Yeah, how do you get it off? I think with the uh, wheel dollars he has. Yeah, you didn't watch how he did it. He, so he's got the skates in the back. He probably just ripped it up there. Yeah, you might have damage, dude. Like it's all-wheel drive. They don't like that. What do you say? He's gonna put the wheel dollies on. How would you put the wheel dolly in the front? So he's gonna skate it down and then put the wheel dollies on. Again. How do you get a wheel dolly underneath that? A little bit. I know, but it doesn't look like it's gonna even fit. Though. It's not gonna fit. It's gonna be tight. Yeah, it's broken. It is broken. Yeah, probably for getting it on there. Of course. This is gonna be sketchy getting it off the truck. Why? Oh, he's got it set up with the skates. The wheel is turning. Yeah. The skates were going up, but not going backwards. Like, how are you going to pull it off? Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Well, let's watch and see how he gets it. Also, up. the front wheel is turned. Like, it's going to hit the, the truck, and it's aimed towards the <laughs> wall. You might hit a K-rail with it. Yeah, the second K-rail in the uh, Lamborghini. Nice. All right. So is your uncle a cool guy or is he scary? Yeah, he's cool, he's just crazy. Really? Yeah. Likes to party a lot. This is what the other car truck driver did with Mike's AMG GT. I got this car three times the price. Oh, dude, this car's- He did this too? Yeah, he did the same thing. <laughs> Try to buck it off? Yeah. Bro. Well, we found our gearbox with the SVJ. <laughs> How many cars does your uncle own? Two. What else does he have? 765. Shit, so he's got money. Yeah. That's like that car's lost, right? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, he, just, he doesn't remember where he puts his cars. The 765 is lost? Yeah, it's not lost. He just doesn't remember where he puts them. So he's put air tags in them so he remembers where they're at. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Are you real? No, I'm serious. <laughs> How do you lose a car? He's a mess. Okay, this is like, you gotta keep your eye Oh my god. Are you sure we want me doing this right now or should we get another plan? Um, but he will not have the liability insurance to cover this $500,000 car. What other plan do you have? We can get we can tow it up. We can pull it off with a Hummer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is there a rear tow strap? I uh, I'm worried. Yeah, I think we need to intervene. I I oh don't worry, he's got it. It's, it's liable on the tow truck company, not us. You think so? How do you collect the money? One thing to win a lawsuit is everything to collect the money. Really the insurance for their company? Your your uncle's got it. Oh yeah, he can get it. He's got a body shop, he could fix it. Oh, a I thought it's a pawn shop. No, body shop. Oh! Body shop. That's less sketchy. Yeah. How big is this body shop? Must be huge. Uh, it's 10,000 square feet? No, like how the business, like oh. big business. It's not that crazy. And he owns a Aventador S and a Sensei Top LT? So there's like 1.5 million to 1.2 million in cars. Something's not adding up. No. Like, Steven, you got a, your family bloodline is definitely. Well, he married in. What? Yeah, he married in. Nice. Yeah. The story's unraveling. <laughs> so, it, is his family, is her, the wife's body shop or his? It's his. It's his. But what did he marry into then? My mom's sister. Okay, but. And they had all the money? What's that? And they paid for this? 
they bought that, yeah. And what's their business? The body shop, and that's it. But she said it was his body shop, so it's what did he marry into? She works there with him sometimes. Steven, you're killing me right now. Did you get any of what he's saying right now, Chris? Ah, it works pretty good. Yeah, it's a little close, not that close. I mean, it's grinding metal on metal, but it's not that close. It's not that close. It's not that bad. Your uncle's laid back, right? Yeah, he's okay. Are you sure he won't get mad at you for this? He's fine. He'll be fine. Can you get a credit card in there, Chris? Pretty close. Yeah, like a thousand? Yeah. A thousand some inch. How is it Um I think it's totally fine. Yeah, it's clear. No, I think you're good. Oh, it's clean. Good. It actually did. It actually just hit tire. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fine. Lucky. Yeah, it's fine. It's that was good. Bueno. Oh, oh dude, it's easy, man. Give it like, yeah, I get it off of it. Yeah. <laughs> Steven's story has changed completely about everything in his family and the family money and the uncle's car, but he lost it. So he put an air tag in it, couldn't find out where it was. The battery was out when he found the car. Real, real life stuff. Well, what's funny was I was just driving with this car. You were? Yeah. This one? It's dead. There's who in it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> but I know this car. Oh, because do? yeah, because it's an Aventador RS with an SVJ front bumper. Did you notice that? Uh, I know his friend was driving it. Who's his friend? I have no idea. He was on he was on the drive the other day with me. So that's when it broke. Is that when it broke last week? I have no idea. It says it's been down two weeks or something. That was a bunch of parking tickets on the windshield. That Anyways, come see the clutch in the wheel on the side of the trailer. That was interesting what just happened. Did you see that? Oh, that was yeah, I just saw this car. This car was on the PFS driver. This one was? Yeah. This car was on the PFS driver with me. Yeah, because it's an Aventador S with a SDJ Tom bumper. PFS put that bumper on. Is this uh, a poorly devised plan, Mike? Um, I just walked out to this. Like, I heard everybody outside. I came out here and I was like, what the hell is going on right now? That's a $450,000 car. So it's Steven's yeah. uncles that he forgot and lost. They remember where it was. It had parking tickets all over the windshield and had dead battery. So we asked Steven what? to change the battery. And he said, well, <laughs> if we can make a video, you can do it here. Bring it over. Um, well, so far it's entertaining. It's not going so well. <laughs> it's not. He's got his shirt off, so. How's that for a thumbnail? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, Stephen, oh, no. you, you have many layers to you. You were one yeah, big one onion. One of them's not picking good towing company. Did I you pick it? This is, by the way, by the way, this is the difference between having someone like Mr. C's who are professional people who manage supercars and hypercars every single day and having the no-name tow company Miscellaneous. who just happens to oh, have oh, a- Oh, 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 just, oh, dude. That side skirt is right on that metal tail right there. I don't know if this is getting dangerous for them or the car. It just fingers there. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh, I see a little bit of... Oh. Good news, you own a body shop, so you can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally pushing on that car from under. Holy shit. It's him pushing on the carbon fenders. <laughs> I, uh, at least they fold it back. They can bring this up, get it up, bring it down again. Or do two by four. Pivoting on that board, that's why they're able to turn up. Maybe it's a different, maybe it's a different car. Oh really? Well, I mean, what are the odds that? What are the odds that it would be a different car, but low but plausible? There's a pretty big bubble in the car. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's done, that one. Well, you can change it. Let's change it and send it Uncle a bill for like nine grand. <laughs> 15. 15 grand. What are the odds there's another car like this? It's, it's so low. Did you ask your uncle? I tried to call him three times. Is he okay? It's got the same color caliper, it's got the same wheels, it's got carbon gloss mirrors. But, but a set, like a gloss, just black, like it's exactly the same car as what... Uh, I didn't like the sound I just made. It just, it just cracked the lip. What? Jack comes out. What for? I don't know. I'm curious. <laughs> I have not unloaded a car like this. But, uh, no. I, uh, I will trust their perspective. Hey, what's the Jack for? That's why I just said to Steve and I said, I don't know what the play is here, but there's just two problems. One, the car is already like a foot and a bit off the ground where they're about to, where the jack point is. Uh, number two, if you jack it up on one side, you do realize it's already touching the bumper on the other side. So if you go to the other side right now when they jack it up, it's going to tip the car over and crack the other side of the bumper. What? They did that to put a two by four into the tire. To lift it a little bit? How is that going to help? I don't know. They're lost. <laughs> they're, they're, very lost. they're puzzled. And it comes off that step. Uh, the bumper's gonna rip off. Say that again? The bumper's gonna rip off. What is right here? So now what? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I would trust their profession, but it doesn't seem like it's going very smoothly. Five minutes. How long has it been? 
45? Oh. Cool. Is there too much wood? I don't know. I feel like the pile's getting bigger and nothing is changing. Well, they're off the truck now. Yeah. yeah. They're getting it done. With a medium amount of damage so far, but. So there's a bit of damage in the wheel, a bit of damage in the side skirt, a bit of damage in the front lip. We heard a, a crack. And there's a crack in the front lip. Now I, I'd have to go and finish to see if that was there before. And all the right down the middle is cracks. What's that? Probably cracked it this morning. Well, it's like, how, how did they get it on? All done? Yeah, 975 that tow. 975 what? Dollars. Thousand dollars? Yeah. Thousand dollars? Thousand dollars for that. Well, he, he, the bills on them will be a little bit more than a thousand dollars. Bro, when the car gets, it would be when they're done. thousand dollars just to have the wheel repaired and re, re yeah, powder coated. Yeah, Let's just go through one all wheel. the damage of the tow once they're done. Okay. And we can estimate. We'll do well, it I don't even else. have to estimate. We have these cars. I call Lambo and be like, how much to repowder coat a wheel on an, uh, on an Aventador ass wheel? How much for a new side skirt? How much for the front, front, well, the front splitter of an SVJ bumper? Yeah. Jeez, that's real money. <laughs> oh, dude. There's $30,000 in damages right there. Very possibly. Or, or, you know, a really good body person would have to try to fix that. But I don't really, I don't really, we'd have to go look. Depends on how deep any like gouges are on yeah. that side skirt. Because some stuff could be repaired by a body shop. Like if the front splitter is just like scraped, you probably, if you want to be cheap and not demand a new front splitter, you would just sand it down and just re-clear it or whatever needs to be done. Well boys. But if you were buying, like if, if you, if I was the owner of the car and someone did that, I was like, no, I want a whole new bumper. Like, for sure, not? yeah. Like if it was really deeply gouged, well yeah. then you're in like a real... It was money. new before, I don't want to repair it one, I want what I had before. Then you're into real, real money. I mean, it's an Aventador S Roadster. It's a real car. That's a $400,000 car. That was wild. So why are you smiling about this right now? That was... Uh, why does it make you happy? That was, that was wild. Okay, sandwich, 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 sandwich. And then there's Tim. I like pasta. Nice pasta. light lunch, hey Tim? What's that? Go for a jog after that? I Good can. for you. I love pesto. That looks amazing. <laughs> on my vacation, on the last day, the Sunday, that we were leaving, but we were on a, a red eye overnight, so we were leaving late Sunday night. That morning at 6 a.m., um, I bumped into a bunch of DDE fans who saw that I was in Honolulu and were in our hotel and were there as a bunch of guys who were running the half marathon that Sunday morning. And I was this close to actually registering and going and running it. That morning? 13 miles. Yeah. The only reason why I didn't was because I was like having to sit, even though I was fortunate to sit in business class, but it's not sleeper suites. To have to like sit in a chair, even if it's a big chair, After to that, sit in this position <coughs> yeah, would not be good. You'd have to get up Ramped and stretch up. over and over and over and over and over. Like, especially no preparation in running at yeah. 230 pounds. So I opted out because it's a big pussy. But I, I genuinely was thinking about, if I didn't have to fly that day, I would have went and ran it. Hmm. Probably take me about two and a half hours to run 13 miles. I'd have a pretty good pace for the first hour and the last hour and a half would, would suck. Too I'm, not, I'm not good with cardio. But that, that's why I was thinking of when you said, are you gonna go for a run? Because people eat a lot of pasta. Yeah. Just that night when I was asking the guys, what are you doing? They're like, oh, we're going, out, we're going out for pasta, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And there's a really good Italian place we went to as a family 
that we like there just across from our hotel. All guard. Uh, all you can eat bread sticks, right? What's the deal with power steering on this song, bitch? We're checking the wiring now. I got some wiring info. Pain the dick, hey? Yeah. Are we gonna do an Aventador battery today? We can, yeah, we gotta push it in. Well, let's, we have to inspect the damage as well. Oh, yeah, from the tow guys. I bet that's $20,000 damage in that tow. I bet, I bet. We saw yeah, it happen here live. Skirts, bumper. Yeah, dude. Destroyed. Okay, so, so last week was 4 3 day, and they had an auction to raise money for Ken's foundation. And I got you something. Oh, I bid on something, and I won. Camel watch race suit. Camel watch helmet. Nah, not that one. Oh. Camel watch race suit. Is it? Open it up. Well, you said you were going to buy it. Did you win this? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, how sick is that? Wow. <clears throat> That's so <laughs> sick. That's right. That's dope, right? Dude. That's so cool. <clears throat> so this was his co-pilot's race suit. I'm not oh, sure. His co his, yeah, his rally co-pilot. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I think 2021. I'll have to go back and look. That's really cool. But they both matched in the same suits, and that was it. So his co you know, you know, you know how You know how I knew about the suit? Because you kept talking about it. <laughs> if you're going to do a secret, you can't tell people about it. The whole, the, the whole time he was like, dude, they've got all this cool stuff. I think they have Ken's race suit. But it wasn't Ken's suit. It was no, suit. they're not auctioning Ken's suits, but his co-pilot uh, donated this to the charity, and we bid on it. This is really cool. So we should get a mannequin and set that up. Yeah. Because from the front, it's the exact same as Ken's. It obviously doesn't have his name in the back. Mannequin, let's put a, yeah. Let's put a mannequin uh, in this and a, and a helmet, and we'll put it, and we'll move it every day. So when you walk in the building, <laughs> the lights are off. Every day, you're freaked out by thinking someone's in the building. Now, would you fit like in that? randomly in the hallway or, like, in the bathroom? Would I fit this? Put it on. I think he's a little guy. <laughs> yeah. I think it's Tim-sized. I'm thinking the waist is probably... He'll go as tall as me almost. So. But so this is the Trouble Andrew collab they did. So it has this all these super details cool. on it. Hey? Yeah, that's right. It's cool how they design, like, look at this. All the little so details. Has a 43 on it. Yeah. How do we make our. We, this is we, How do we get DD race suits like this? Yeah, we just need to design, get measured up, and have them made. Are all the details on here? Just, yeah. I can't lot. believe you won this. I know, more importantly, how much did you pay for this? What's friendship worth? Ed. What? That's the scene. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's hot. Thank you. Oh, get right in there. Get right in there. So you got some rare beef soup. Rare beef soup. Sandwiches. Garrett got his prison special. Chris, what'd you get? Rare beef soup. Hot dog, no bun. Is that what you got in? How many hot dogs do you eat in one sitting? Chris, what's the most hot dogs in one sitting? One bite. Good, thank you. Amazing. Thank you very much. We're currently in Phoenix for an undisclosed reason. It is so hot here. But we read somewhere that if you eat hot food while it's hot outside, it cools you down. But I also made that up. We actually did. That is not made up. I think someone said that. Your body can help regulate the temperature or something. Who sell soup said that? Yeah. Our birthday on a hot day. Soup marketing. That's pretty good actually. Ironically yeah. all sunburns. Damon on the side of his face a little bit. His arm. Chris got him really bad. I got it too. Just from, the, just from driving. This is the passenger princess arm. Yeah. Hey Garrett, do you wear suntan lotion every morning? I don't. With this lotion? I feel like that. I don't need any lotion. All natural. I'm trying to get a drop in the soap. What? Soup's good. <laughs> Soup's delicious.